Um, we've uh, spent a lot of time talking about realigned item because it's really at the heart of being able to acquire multiple tilt series. Because unless you really don't care what you get when you go and click a point on a map and try to do tilt series there, <clears throat> you want to have a map suitable for realigning to at each location you're trying to acquire. So that's basically step one. Now, the next step for this would be to select an item in the table that you want to acquire the tilt series at, which could be a point or a high mag map, ladder recommended, and then check tilt series. And when you check that, it brings up a series of dialogues. First, a very simple one to select either whether it's a single frame or a montage. Then you pick the output file. Um, then you enter your standard file properties menu for picking the, the data type and uh, header properties. And then you enter this tilt series parameter dialog, which is the same old for dialog you've, you've been seeing for tilt series. But it is a little bit modified to take account of the fact that this is no, known to be for a series that's going to be taken later. And so some options are not <clears throat> active because of that. So once you get through all those dialogues, this is what things will look like in that upper part of the uh, the properties part of the dialog with all these buttons enabled there. So the nice thing is you now check tilt series for your next place where you want to acquire and you don't have to go through the dialogues again because all these properties get inherited and the file name is advanced. So here it was a TS test and it turned it into test two. If you had one or one A, it would turn it into two or two A. So it tries to be a little bit clever about those names. But if you do want to change something for that um, tilt series, you just press one of these buttons to change the file properties. Um, and even whether it's a single file versus montage, and the tilt series parameters and the file name. OK, the button I didn't mention there was this imaging state button. And this is a another special thing here. Imaging state refers to a combination of the microscope state, which is the, the beam and the magnification and any filter settings, and the record acquisition parameters. So it's the whole set of information needed to reacquire a picture that, and, and known conditions. And um, so that's what happens when we go to realign to a map, is that it goes and sets the imaging state of that map. Well, we have, in fact, when we checked tilt series for one of these locations, it automatically recorded the current microscope state as the imaging state. But if that isn't right, we can go and readjust the microscope and press imaging state for that guy, and uh, everything will be adjusted for that tilt series. Now, there's also an imaging states dialog, which is loosely tied to the navigator dialog so that in if you left it open when you close Navigator, it will open up again when you open it. And it's designed to let you save and return to saved imaging states. And these are states that can be saved in your, in your settings. So they'll show up session after session. And um, you can also use it to set the state that's used to acquire a map. So this is just an example of view states, a lower mag one, higher one, one for low dose, and di different cameras being used. And the state includes, as you can see, the exposure time uh, <clears throat> and the binning of the image. And so we go to a state by pressing the imaging or the button here or, or, or double clicking on a, on a line. Once we're in a state, then we activate some other buttons. We can choose a different state directly, or we can restore the prior state, or we can actually just forget that we came there, uh, which is useful in some cases too. So this is hopefully something you'll find useful in, in some contexts. Uh, I don't really want to talk about this. What we want to do is go play another video. Unplug the Yeti.